I've reviewed each of these sensors separately and now I'm going to review it as a part of a kit and then tie them all up within themselves while in the Ajax app. Ajax static kit plus here on the table. Here you're going to learn the differences regarding static kit regular, know every sensor's intent. Well, this one. Here's some installing and using tips and of course see the activation connection and a practical test. And before we begin, go to the People Systems website, order any of all 25 Ajax sensors, specify you are subscribed and get your special offer right away. I'm Daniel, breaking in. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. In fact, there is only two sensors, Dual Protect and Motion Protect. And the set of devices fitted in a start kit, well, this whole thing up, is, well, fairly essential. Except, well, besides this, I'd advise you to get Fire Protect and Lix Protect in the first place. Thus, you'll be protected against intruders, which are external threats and in-house threats. Now, the boxes of each for we have fits in the exact sensor where we go yeah the LAN and power for the Ajax hop the motion protect bus uh, we have also uh, main sensor and dual protect bus and magnetic contact and nothing additional for dual protect plus and now let us focus on the sensors here I've also brought the regular Ajax static kit and as you can tell there's no differences in the looks at all. The differences are in sight. In my words, static kit is a bigger scale system for larger premises and a corporate format. So what do we know about Ajax Hub in compare or oh, Ajax Hub Plus, here's it, right? It's white in compared to Ajax Hub Regular. Briefly, Ajax Hub is a system's brain. It's the thing that every 12 seconds makes sure that all of the sensors inside are operating real time with no issues. And it's a bridge between you and a sensors. Because when a sensor spots a threat and transmits the data to the hub while the radio lives under the Ajax unique Javeler radio technology, after what the hub conducts an analysis of that data and sends it to you in the form of the alert on your phone. So the first thing you can notice, the regular hub box is white, but the plus version is black, regardless of device body color. The main difference I can highlight about hub plus is that this is sustaining a 3G, two backup SIM card slots located under the back cover here and you can see it here and here's actually one sim card slot for the hub regular next to them you can see uh the rg4085 uh, len cable input and the power input here and here and also i'd like to pick out well uh and say that this is increased company scale, the system scale, and I mean a number of people in interacting with system and a connected devices amount. It's 50 user support for a regular hub and 99 support for a hub plus. A connected devices amount rate is 100 for a regular hub and 150 for a plus version. In addition, a plus version offers a Wi-Fi connection support so you don't have to stretch the cable but you can just enable a Wi-Fi. And the installing tip I got for this one, it just shouldn't be in a view sight. I mean you can place it behind the furniture but it just don't have to be in a view sight because no one should see this guy. Next in line is a Motion Project Plus device. The detector number one in a whole system, based on the infrared sensor, located right behind this piece of plastic. So a passive infrared sensor working principle lies in detecting an infrared light or well a head emitting from objects in its field of view. 
and as we all are warm-blooded, we are meeting head with our own bodies and the infrared sensor created that way to spot and register that heat in its sight, which is a 12 meters distance, both for the Ajax Motion Protect Plus and the Ajax, uh, well, Motion Protect uh, regular version. It's black, it's white. Also, the Motion Protect created that way to ignore pets under weight of 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. Thus, it is immune to pest detection and you don't have to worry about false alarms caused by pets. So, within those 12 meters, in an earth position, the sensor spots all the movements in sight. And unlike Motion Protect Regular, Plus version has an additional microwave sensor is displayed with this sign here, which makes it suitable for the rooms with the air conditioners, fireplaces, and there is a probability of a light flickering, glare, and well, similar things. Although this function in stock reduces the sensor's battery life from up to seven years for a uh, regular version, version to up to five years for a plus. And also we got a reduced operating range in open area from 1700 meters for a regular motion protect to a 1200 for a plus. Anyways, five years is still a great indicator of a battery life and 1200 is good too. Besides, the sensor's active area is 12 meters. Quite simple sensor, so it is its working principle. But what's not mentioned in its name, the door protect, it's also a window opening detector used for uh, both doors and windows equally. And in box we have additional magnetic contacts uh, besides the main sensor, yeah, that perfectly fits for on windows install. So uh, the same as, as this one, even though it, it's made in the same form as a main sensor, but it's a magnet too, just a magnet, intended for on-door install and will look like this. And the working principle is based on a red switch, which is able to detect when the contacts are closed or open due to a magnetic field principle. So uh, what distincts a plus version from a regular? Well, it has the accelerometer built in this one. And it's able to feel a tilt applied to it and also detect an impact applied to an adjoining door or a window for this one. And this is all the functional distinctions they have, but uh, how does the accelerometer affect our interaction and working with the device? Well, it opens the possibility to detect if the adjoining door or the window was honked. And also it opens the possibility to arm the system with the sensor in a half open position. Like if your window is in the ventilation mode and the main sensor has a little gap between the magnetic contact, you won't get alert that the sensor is open because, well, it's remember its position. And if something changes after that, I mean, if the window was humped or tilted more than expected, you'll get an instant intruder alert. So you just hang it on the door, on the window, on the system, and if some intruder opens it, you'll know that instantly due to a red switch walking principle. So the operational range of both sensors, both this and this, is 1200 meters within 12 seconds ping frequency, and you can also pair it with a wired and C detectors. Now the key fob. Well, basically it's a phone replacement with the physical buttons for the fans of the ones. Ajax Space Control Key Fob. And why, why, why does it exist as the interacting with system happens completely via the phone? Because during emergency cases, seconds determine the outcome. Get a phone out of the pocket, unlock it, type the passcode, get, get into the app, unlock it with the passcode, go to the arming screen, press the button, or just take this one and press physical button with physical button on it, you know, with this button touch feeling and the LED indication feedback located in the middle here among uh, all the buttons. Tester. And that is why convenient. Four buttons where a full circle is to arm the system. The torn circle is disarm. The opposite side C letter is a nut mode and the exclamation point inside of a circle is a panic button, often triggered to call a security company. All right, so my favorite segment of the Ajax, the connection. We got on the table everything we need for that. The space control, the door protect plus, motion protect plus, the phone with the Ajax app 
can get it from the App Store, Google Play for free. Yeah, and it was good just back in there. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, and of course the Ajax Hub Plus. So get, well, first, yeah, get the wires out of the box. They'll be located in this brick. Uh, and then, well, yeah, find a socket, yeah, <laughs> and plug in. So here's the LEN cable, here's the power cable. Now, oh, let be here. How are we gonna do? Yeah, get the back cover off. Oh yeah, this is what I don't like about Ajax. How hard it is to open it back off. And now you see there's a port. We're gonna get our cables and insert it right in there. Here's one goes. And here's the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. And here's the second goes. And next thing what we do, see this button? Press it. And then you'll see the light indication. And well, the red one means that Ajax is not yet configured. So we gotta wait until it is configured. Let's wait. Now, but, mm, Yet, when we wait, we go to the uh, Ajax app, press add hop and add manually. Now we're gonna scan the QR code, get it on the device back and name it. it will be hop in my case. And now you can see the indication is green, like green here, meaning the internet is transmitted, the power is transmitted, everything is just great. Uh, but, but Wi-Fi disconnected, cellular data data is disconnected. <sighs> yep. And now let's close the lid back off. And you should see notification. Yeah. There was notification. The lid is closed. <sighs> now, our hop is online, so we just put it in here. I don't need this right now. Uh, next, what we do, let's connect the Motion Protect Plus. And that's what we do. Pressing the Add Device button. Add device. Oh, there's one room, right? <laughs> Add room. Yeah, yeah, I should, I should give it one room. Studio, okay, great. And now add device, add device. Uh, device ID, now let's scan the device ID, get the cover back off. There you go, name it a motion. Oh, it's wrong, motion. And assign a room, which is a studio, ready. And now you see this switch on off here in the back. I'm gonna get it closer to the hub and switch it. And yeah, it felt it and AGX Motion Protect has been successfully added. Now let's close the lid. It should be not, it should notify us. Yeah, lid closed, motion in studio, which is great. Next. <laughs> Next, the Door Protect Plus. So this is, these are just a magnets yeah, you probably can see that. And this is the main sensor. Now, what we're gonna do, add device, add device, uh, and scan the QR. Come on, get this back cover off. Scan the QR, name it a door, protect, yeah, whatever you want. Assign a room, which is a studio, and okay. And the same here, here's a little switch on off here. So you're gonna get it close to the hub and press it. It will indicate with green and thus meaning it is ready to go. And, oh, yeah, and close the lid back on. And you also can see, again, all the notifications, everything just here. Yeah, so one more sensor is connected to the system we have. And now it's time for the key fob. So, um, We've just added every sensor scanning the QR code of the device. But if you look, there's no any QR code, there's no any marks on the body of the well, space control. So what we're gonna do, we're taking this box and your QR code, the same as mine, will be located in here. So that's what we do. Device ID, scan, scanning it, naming it a key fob and sign room studio, which is great, and pressing the OK. And now we're gonna uh, arm in button and panic button, push it simultaneously, which is this one full circle and a exclamation mark in circle. And now, simultaneously. And a key fob is added. And yeah, so you can use this key fob, well, 
just as I told you before, as a replacement of this with the phone. Yeah, you don't have to get it out of the pocket. You don't have to unlock it with the uh, Face ID. Yeah, you just don't need that. So you just well, take this one and arm it. And the system will be armed. And you'll be indicated in here. And again, to disarm, yeah, you press this one and you get it. You get it disarmed really and you see it's like indication in here so we're pretty much done with it to conclude you get a lot of updates and really important features in a starter kit plus it's on the table right now uh, that includes wi-fi data transmission support two backup 3g sim card slots in stock of this one increased system scale with the increased simultaneously connected devices and users amount for a half plus and you have a microwave sensor in a notion protect plus got an accelerometer in stock for the Dual Protect Plus, and thus it can detect and impact apply to an adjoining door or window. Here, I mean that it isn't just an internal memory size increase or some very extra additions, but a really awesome features that open up a new possibilities. You can get it on the People System Store website, link is in the description, and you gotta know that special offers are applied to the ones who specify that they're subscribed yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Your protection and your knowing of, of your surroundings are our main goals in the People System Store.